really wish I could have fun with this car, but instead we are once again performing some more maintenance. First we gotta see what we got in here. Precisely what I ordered, a bunch of paper. There we go, been about 8,000 miles since I changed the oil. So that is very good. Got some vacuum wine, couldn't go wrong. Got that ricer blue. I don't know why I didn't just get black. That really would have been a lot better, I think. Got a power bleeder for the brakes. And this is the size. So the brake fluid I got, I guess. So I do not think this is enough. Maybe we're not bleeding the brakes today. Oh my gosh, how could I forget the oil filter? This is really just the beginning of everything I need to do to this car. I could honestly write a poem, maybe an entire novel about what I need to do to this thing. There's an event coming up at the end of July here that I would like to get into. Do some index racing in this car. It could be pretty fun. I'll honestly probably lose in the first round, but it's about having fun with this thing. If it doesn't break, that really is a win. Now, this is the fun part of the video for you guys, not so much for me. I drove the car a little bit before doing this, so the oil's still pretty warm. If this goes anything like my last oil change, it's gonna be a hot tub down here, all right? Who put this on, bro? Lunar staff it is. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. We'll take that. That is what happens when you go about 8,000 miles without changing your oil. Now for the oil filter. I just love this tool, man. Makes me feel like a lumberjack. Well, maybe we should uh, loosen it instead of tighten it. Oh, maybe we should loosen it instead of tighten it. Shit, 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 I didn't get a rag. I need another one for down there, though. Okay. Just get the leak on, let's go. Now for the juice. Oh my gosh, that was advanced. Zero spillage. Oh, there's the spillage. Fuck! Now for the little guy. More spillage on this one. What do you know? And just a little bit of this one to finish it off. 6.3. Oh, just a little more. That's good. I'm gonna check the coolant while we're topping things off. Might as well. I think I only filled it to like there, so I don't really lose that much. And that was a couple months ago also, so... Maybe the coolant isn't too much of an issue. Why is that so foamy? This is my first time testing out the lifetime warranty on FCP Euros parts. I'm gonna try it out with this oil. I'm gonna try to get it back into its original container and ship it back out and see if I get my money back. I'm pretty interested to see how this works out and now I guess when I'm done with everything else I just package this back up and ship it back out to them and just in case you were interested uh, we filled this bottle back up and then maybe like 40% of this bottle so I knew I needed some oil but I didn't know how much because this car doesn't have a dipstick you just kind of go off the computer reading that's kind of bad that's like a whole quart we were missing <laughs> Taking a trip back to our box of parts. We're gonna pull out this Anaconda. Don't want none here. There's really some distance on this thing. Holy moly. I also got some T connectors just in case we break any during the process. Over on the turbo side, I know I got these two vacuum canisters. There's two lines going off the top to the wastegates. Then on the bottom, there's two more lines. I believe those are the ones that go up and over this engine cover here. See them back there. Over here on the diverter valve side, two there. Also, one that goes to the throttle body underneath this cone. I think that's all of them. I could be wrong though. As per, you got to take the unibrow apart, and we can reveal that this line actually does go to the intake manifold up by the throttle body there. We're going to be careful taking that one off because I don't want to break the nipple on top of this hunk of PVC that will run you $500. Made some scary noises. 
but it came off. Ended up disconnecting the diverter valves and using a broken pick, which would probably be a lot better if this wasn't broken. I didn't really do any research. I hope that the regular hose works where the braided lines are supposed to be. And then up in here, that's just not even the regular hose at all. I'll be replacing that also with the blue stuff. See what happens. I'm pretty sure it'll be okay though. I guess the only difference with these things is they have the braided sleeve around them. So I think this will work fine. There's a pretty nice split in this hose right here. This was the part that connected to the intake manifold. That could have been cause for some issue. Oh, I can already feel the horsepower. <laughs> now realistically, there was a good bit of oil on this little titty down here. So I just carb cleaned it off and we're gonna plug her back in. I actually wound up taking this on back off and shortening this line a little. I'll pop up a screenshot if I have it on my phone, but I was getting a code for vacuum correlation to the throttle body. And this line was slit right by the connection here. Fingers crossed up that that was the reason for that code. We'll see when we get the rest of these done. These two lines look pretty straightforward. Boink. The same over here. Booyah. And then there's also vacuum outlines, which I don't think I've ever seen anyone replace those. Going down to somewhere over there. And then somewhere in the back where you can't really tell where it goes. Been impaled. doesn't matter which canister goes to which on this because they're both going to the same thing here. Also, I'd like to point out that my two concerns using this over the actual hose that you're supposed to get for this is that this might be a little bit of a choke point on this hose, but I'm not too sure. See how it kind of squeezes around this. So I just got to do these two lines right here. Oi! Fucking happy, bro. So I just took a look at those. Those go down into down there, somewhere by the turbo, and then same back there. I'm gonna save those for another day. Let me tell you what. I think I have everything hooked up, right? I did not pay attention to left, right, center on these, so we're just gonna have to start it up and see if we get any codes or anything. Bro, I still hear that poor tripping, but uh. That being said, I can uh, take the snip snip to these lines because this is uh, these are a bit too long, I think. And holy crap, now that I'm thinking of left, right, center, I think these are supposed to go under and then these go on top. So I'm going to flip flop. Then I actually wouldn't have to cut the lines. They'd probably all actually be like the perfect length. Now this I'm actually interested in. Let's see what happens. Seems better now, but the thing with this car is it's gonna be better for eh, three drives. I mean, I haven't driven it yet, so I can't really say whether or not like the oscillation or whatever in the pedal is gonna be gone. But that was one of the more smooth starts it's had in a while, that's for sure. She been in a lot, shot she lost in the sun.
guitar, she on a plane. I just get brain and get guap. I just get brain and get guap. This life is insane. This life is a dream and I like. Kiss shit, I like it a lot. I see through the pain. This life is a dream and I like. Kiss shit, I like.